Okay, so back inside the BIOS now for the RAID being enabled. Go to the onboard device configurations. Choose the SATA configuration. And we'll change this to RAID enabled. And I believe that it said our devices are on set one. And four. Now just to check that, we'll go back to the main, say to one, two, and four. Okay, so save this configuration. So we'll enter the RAID setup utility. Okay, so here's the RAID setup. It's got our three disks. So first thing we'll need to do is change the RAID type. We'll be doing RAID 5. And go ahead and add all three disks. So, yes, it's fine to clear the disk data. So, we'll have a RAID 5 with essentially a terabyte effective. We'll set this as our boot and exit. Okay, so back inside the BIOS here, I swapped around some of the SATA cables to get channels 1 through 3 to be part of the RAID and 6 to be the drive. So you can see that 1, 2, and 4 are no longer available because of them being part of the RAID config right now. So go back into our configuration here. And change that. And save and exit. Okay, so you can see that we still have the healthy RAID 5. That is our boot. And there are SATA channels 1 through 3. So that is still fine.